So you think you have got it tough, Tony Purdy. Who of you can speak two or more languages? Who of you whose who's second or subsequent language is English? <coughs> Perfect. I've got the greatest audience here. Clara, I think that you handpicked these people just for me. Madam Contest Chair, ladies and gentlemen. Learning another language is tough, isn't it? Learning a new language is very tough. When I went to school, I learned there were three verb tenses. It was easy. Past, present, future. Past, he spoke. Present, he speaks. Future, he's going to speak. Nothing to it. But no. Then I found out when TESOL came along, what a dirty word, TESOL. It stands for something like teachers of English to people of other languages. What a dirty, dirty acronym. I learnt that there were other, 12 other verb tenses. Not only were this past, present and future, but we have present simple, past simple, present simple, simple future. Come on, help me here, Ryan. <laughs> uh, we have uh, past progressive, we have uh, present progressive, we've got future progressive, we've got past perfect, we've got present perfect, we've got past perfect, we've got future perfect, we've got progressive pers oh, it goes on, it's just dizzy. Who's responsible for all these things? Who's responsible for all of these nasty verbs? And that's not the only ones. That's when we get to things like auxiliary verbs. And we get to things like transient verbs. And, and past, past, present perfect per verbs. When I, learned, when I learned about auxiliary verbs, there are words like am and be. I thought a verb would be something like an action word, like swim, run, go. What's so action about be? Am. Are. There's nothing action at all about those words, is there? No. Then we get to nasty things like coll collocations. And then we have conjugations. And we have phrasal verbs. And all of these, all of these things that I didn't know about when I was learning English. Did you, Judy? I bet you didn't learn about these things when you went to school either, did you? I learned nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> when, when a friend said to me, if you go to the beach today, I'll come with you, did I know that that was a conditional sentence? Of course I didn't. And what's more, there are three of them. Three conditionals. How am I supposed to know this? There's one person who is responsible for all of this, but I'm going to keep that secret just for a little while longer. Another thing that we have is prepositions. I bet you just love prepositions, don't you? Check just love prepositions. They just love them. I had, a, I had a student once say to me, what's the difference between saying, I will meet you on the corner, or I will meet you at the corner? I don't know, do you? But 
I'll tell you what, the longer you're a teacher, the greater you get at fluffing your way through. You hold your fingers like this and you say, if it's on the corner, it has to be right there, on this corner, right here. Nice. But if it's at the corner, it could be anywhere around within a metre or two. It doesn't matter. You know what? They always believe me. <laughs> <laughs> you can fluff your way if you really know how. Oh, and there's also those articles. Only three little teeny weeny words. And don't we overuse them in English? Don't we just stick them in anywhere? Take this sentence. The number 22 tram went over the Vlotova, past the National Theatre, stopped at the tram stop at Narodny, went up past the, the Sony building, stopped at Karlovy Namesti, right opposite the park. I think there are about eight books in that. Why? Wouldn't it be so much better if we just said number 22 tram went over Vladova, stopped Narodny, Narodny Devadlo at the... At, uh, <laughs> it's so difficult for a native English speaker to be able to say something without all of those thus and up and an in it. Terrible. But we use them way too much. I'll get back. I'll get back to the reason or the person who is responsible for this. I'm sure you've all heard of him. His name is Raymond Murphy. He's written so many books about grammar. He and his cronies, I think, should be put between behind lock and gate. Lock the gate and throw away the key. Why? Who needs all of these? Who needs all of these, all this grammar? But if you have a look at any DVD of this guy, he may have impeccable grammar, but I tell you what, he needs to work on his facial expressions. He's got this, he's got this sort of catch <laughs> that goes like this. I reckon he's trying to think of what bird tips it is. He sort of goes like this. You have a look at him sometime. I'm asked how long I've been in the Czech Republic. I say, about six years. I'm then asked, do you speak the language? And I say, no, no I don't. The next question is why not? I can tell you why not, because I'm too bloody busy learning my own language <laughs> to be able to get to learn another language. Madam Contest Chair. <laughs> 